Today we are in Lady Lake for a restaurant review. This time we are in the building that was called Alfie's that we did a review at. It has since then changed to I Sonora Mexican Cuisine and Grocery. So we're gonna try it out. Um, it's a fairly new restaurant, but when I Googled it, it showed out of so far 31 reviews, it had five stars. So I thought that was pretty impressive. And um, since it's a new restaurant, thought we could go maybe earlier on, show it and see what it's like for others to know what it's like. So that's what we're gonna do. Gonna go into I Sonora. Let's go check it out. All right, so it's gonna pretty much resemble um, Alfie's because it's in the exact same building. And we'll see how this goes. I know we didn't have the best of luck with Alfie's, so hoping for a better outcome at this one. Um, we'll just have to see. It says the hours are uh, Monday closed, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 11 to eight, Friday, 11 to nine, Saturday, 11 to eight, Sunday, 12 to eight. Oh yeah, look at this. All right, well, we'll see how this goes. We've got a bar right there. We're gonna go all the way down here to the very end. So yeah, the restrooms are gonna be up like before over there. They got the market over there. And in all fairness, the place just recently opened, um, but they currently don't have margaritas. I'm wondering if that's like a liquor license issue. All right, here's the menu. So we've got appetizers. First basket of chips and salsa is free. So it looks like you're gonna have to pay extra for extra chips. Um, they got queso dip, which we ordered. Down here, there's salads. Down here, Mexican dinners. Kind of show you those, talk over the music here. And then on the other side, we've got Mexican specialties. Maybe I can just kind of go down the whole page at once here. This is what we'll do. Not sure what to get. Uh, kids menu. The famous hot dog. <laughs> Desserts, sides. So not that big of a menu right now, but we'll see how the food is. I think Timber and I are going to share the fajitas and give those um, a chance. And I think we're going to do flour tortillas um, and see what that tastes like. Here's a look at the queso that we ordered, the salsa, and the chips. Again, make note that it says one free thing of chips, so not sure how much extra chips are. Now, in all fairness, we were kind of like, well, with four of us, that's not really like a good ratio, just have one basket of chips, and they actually brought two, so that's good to know for four people. And we got waters to drink, gonna give that a try. Gonna do a water test. Yeah, that's good water. Consistency, pretty good consistency there. Try the cheese dip. Yeah, the cheese dip's pretty good. Now for the salsa. Make note that the salsa, bit spicy. Ooh, it's good though. Let's come over here and look at the little market. See what all they've got. Oh wow, fully stocked here. Yes. I'm sure they're gonna add even more items to it. Um, but like I said, I don't know the exact date it opened. I've been by it a few times and I know they had like um, a little banner hanging out in front. But uh, I don't know, maybe a month or so they've been open. Yeah, it's a full market. There's those restrooms. They do have some beer over there. And then um, this side. So I'm sure they're gonna completely fill it up, like I said. And do we have anything over here? Oh yeah. That's really good cheese dip. I like it. All right, here's a look at the fajitas. Look at that. Steam coming off of them. But uh, yeah, that looks good. I'm excited. And then we also got a tamal to share over here. I don't know what the sauce is, do you? And here are the Tex-Mex tacos. And then here's the taco salad. That looks good. 
Now plates are extremely hot, so just be careful when touching the plates, but they are hot. This is very hot, so uh, very hot. Really good though, it tastes fresh. Timber, how's yours? It's okay. Okay? Yeah. I will say the fajitas are borderline stinking good. They're really solid fajitas here. What kind of sauce is that? Do you know? Right up spicy. It is spicy? Yeah. So it does look like they have a patio, but it's uh, temporary under maintenance. So just know that sometimes they'll have a patio. And I still like this. They have the faith over fear up here on the grill. And then they've got, I don't know, this like whole story thing over here on the wall. Let's see what it says. Hopefully you can see that. Pause the screen and read it if you want to there. And as far as price goes, it's on the little like digital thing they bring over and have you tap your card, but um, total was like 65-ish dollars, which I didn't think was too bad considering everything's really expensive these days. Overall, I thought it was a decent spot. I, it's not the best Mexican we've ever had, not the worst either. It's, um, it is better than what it used to be in there, but I will say if, if they just recently opened, you know, like a month or so ago, give it some time because anytime something's new, it takes a little bit to get all the kinks out and um, was kind of weird. We were the only ones in there, but again, people might not know about it. So hopefully um, it'll get going and um, they can work out the kinks. All right, that was our trip out to I Sonora here in Lady Lake. Very unique spot with it being the grocery, but it looked like they got some pretty good stuff over there. Oh, car just came on. Um, like I mentioned, walking to the car, so far it was it was a pretty good spot i said it wasn't the best we've ever had wasn't the worst um i think though with it just being so new that they got to work out the kinks and i mean i really i really kind of feel bad because no one was there but i think that's due to them not having a very good sign and just opening up um because for a while this uh area that used to be alfie's was closed so when you drive by you can't really tell that there's actually a restaurant here i only noticed it because they did have a slight banner hanging up and it said Mexican restaurant coming soon and now that banner's not there so had I not seen that I probably wouldn't know that this place even existed so that's why we go out and find these places in order to um, show you what it's like um, I would give it a solid out of one to three a two I mean I would give it another chance uh, later on because I like my fajitas I thought my fajitas were really really good uh, my parents said everything was just kind of standard yeah nothing with theirs. was bad yeah nothing was bad but nothing was like oh yeah I gotta come back to get that I think not having margaritas is probably due to some sort of liquor license, possibly. Um, but I would just say that if you want to try it out, it's definitely worth trying out. And anytime there is a new business, if more people can come build it up, I think they only improve with experience, obviously. So um, our waiter was awesome, though. Mm -hmm. He yeah. was very good on top of it, refilled all the drinks, everything like that. And then with the two chips for the table of four, obviously, that was plenty of chips we never ran out. So yeah, no. I'm not a big fan of having to pay for more chips, but we never ran out of the first chips. So with that, not bad at all. And then as far as portion sizes go, I think overall they were pretty much per person portion sizes. Mm -hmm. But I will say with fajitas and even here too, you can share them because we still had a little left over and I ate a bunch of them, mm -hmm. um, especially if you get the chips and cheese and all that. But I think it's a work in progress, I think overall. It's a place to come and try out. I don't think you'll have a bad time. And I think uh, with time, it'll only get better. I think that's pretty much it though. So if you're in the area, just know there's a restaurant over here now. And um, I think also I mentioned in there, the grocery side will start, they'll add more items to it also. But anywho, it is better than Alfie's. I know they're two separate things, but Alfie's wasn't the best. It's a, it's a better replacement. It's a better replacement. So anyway, I think we're gonna call it. So with that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.